In this video, I'm going to show you where to find the legendary quality schematics of all the weapons and armor in Pal World. So these are not guaranteed to drop. In fact, you will have to grind them and farm them a few times, but eventually you will get these items over here and they won't always be legendary quality. You can get like green and purple too, but the very highest drop that you can get is legendary and it's going to be for all these items you see on screen. Now, starting with the very first one, the cloth outfit. The cloth outfit has a defense of 24, health of 112 compared to the base one, which is only 15 and 70. It's nice. It's a nice upgrade. You're going to get this by defeating an alpha pal in the world. Now you can defeat it or catch it. It does not matter. This is going to drop from Chillit as a rare drop, which is located on the map at 173 negative 418. The next legendary schematic is the feathered hairband. As you can see, defense 24, health 96. The default one only has 15 defense and 60 health added on. This one's going to drop from Pen King on the map over here at level 15, location 114, negative 352. And as with all drops, remember, it's not guaranteed to drop and you can also get it in different qualities. So you will have to grind and keep doing this. The next legendary schematic is for the Pelt Armor with a defense of 56 and a health of 224. You'll see the default one only has 35 defense and only 140 health. This is going to drop from Azurobe on the map at level 17, right in the water over here at coordinates negative 53, negative 387. The next legendary item is the bow, the old bow with an attack of 247, which is a huge increase because the bow that we have at like normal quality is 65 attack, which is really low. Now this doesn't drop early on in the game. You will actually have to beat King Paka at level 23. And at 23, when you beat King Paka at the location 50, negative 460, you'll be able to have a chance at getting the old bow legendary schematic or a schematic. Next up is the crossbow with an attack of 490 at the legendary quality. The base quality only has 280. And this is going to drop from Bushi, which is at level 23, right over here on the map at the location negative 116, negative 491. The next item is the handgun. The handgun has an attack of 425 at legendary quality. The base handgun only has an attack of 250, so that is a massive increase. That's like three times stronger. It is absolutely broken. But this is going to drop as a rare drop from the level 29 alpha beacon right over here on the map in this location. So this is going to be at negative 345, negative 253. The next item is the metal helmet. It has a defense of 80, a health of 160. The base one only has 50 defense and 100 HP. This is going to drop from a level 30 alpha pal called War Sect, which is located right over here on the map at 161, negative 224. Next is the Metal Armor, which has a defense of 112 and a health of 400, compared to the baseline, which is 70 defense and 250 health. This is going to drop from Elizabeth on the map over here. As I slowly zoom in, this is level 31 Alpha Pal. Now this is not directly accessible from right this location. You'll have to go through the cave, which is located over here. This is the entrance. It's at coordinates 36, negative 189. The next legendary schematic is the refined metal helmet with a defense of 160, health of 400. The base one only has 100 defense and 250 health. This is going to drop from a really much higher level PAL alpha rate right over here, level 44 Menesting. The entrance to the cave that goes to it is located over here at 493.77 to try get a legendary schematic of that. The next item is the pump action shotgun with 385 attack compared to the base one which only has 220 base attack. This is going to drop from an alpha PAL called Suzaku which is a level 45 at the top right hand desert of the map right here at this location, 404, 254. The next item is the heat resistant refined metal armor, big mouthful, 288 defense, 800 health, compared to the base one, which only has 180 defense, 500 health. We're gonna get this one from Astagon, which is at the middle of the volcano biome here at level 48, like it's, it's really, really hard, level 48. The location is going to be through a cave that is located right over here at negative 570, negative 416. The next one is the cold resistant refined metal armor with a defense of 288, health of 800. The base one has 180 defense and 500 health. 
This one is going to be found in the ice biome at the top, right at the top of the map here, at a level 49 Lilene Noct. It's going to be in a cave. The cave entrance is located at negative 141, 316. Then we have the assault rifle with an attack of 560 compared to the base attack, which is 320. This is going to be found in the volcano area over here by a pal called Blazamut, which is an alpha. It's going to be in a cave. The cave entrance is located at negative 434, negative 532. Then we have the rocket launcher with an attack of 14,000 compared to the base one, which only has an attack of 10,000. Very, very weak item, guys. Just, just use the crossbow. Now, this is definitely not easy to get. It's going to be from a level 50 alpha pal in the world, and this is Jetragon. Jetragon is located in the volcano area at negative 788, negative 321. The next item is the Pell Metal Helm. This has 240 defense, 560 health at legendary quality. The baseline one has 150 defense, 350 health. This schematic is going to drop from Frosted Lion at the top left of the map over here at level 51, right over here at this location, negative 356, 508. The next item is Heat Resistant Pal Metal Armor, Legendary Quality, Defense 400, Health 1200. The baseline one has 250 defense and 750 health. This is going to drop from Palladius on the map over here, right at the top right hand side of the desert, right here by Palladius, 447, 679 on the map. The next schematic is the Cold Resistant Pal Metal Armor, and this has a defense of 400, health of 1200, compared to the base one, which has a defense of 250 and a health of 750. This final item is actually going to be dropping from Necromus, which is going to spawn alongside Palladius at the top right of the map. There will always be Palladius and Necromus at the same time. The location 446, 679. And that's where you're going to have a chance to farm these cool schematics. I hope you guys get legendary quality and thank you so much for watching. Damn, that is cool.